You're looking at a Mercedes V8 engine in a 1983 380SL convertible. This particular V8 engine, in one form or another, was produced from 1970 all the way up to 1991. It's over 20 years of production. It was primarily installed in the S-Class sedans and the SL convertibles during that period. And there's a renewed interest on these engines. Uh, a lot of people are buying these cars as collectibles. And we're getting emails from people saying, well, what should I be looking for? Well, anytime you get one of these engines, folks, you want to do a physical exam on the engine before you start dumping money into the car. And I'm going to explain what a physical exam is later in this video. One of my all-time best-selling kits for the diesel engines was a physical exam kit we came up with over 15 years ago, which would allow you to do a compression test, adjust the valves, inspect inside the valve train. And you need to do that with these engines too. So let me take you over to the bench and show you what I'm going to include in what I call the early V8 physical exam kit. I think it's important that you understand when I talk about a physical exam, I'm talking about the engine and particularly the internal health of the engine. Now on these older V8s, there's a few things you can do that can give you a pretty good clue as to how healthy the engine is inside. And if it's not healthy inside, if the engine is worn out, you may not want to restore the car or put any money into it at all. You might want to go looking for a different uh, example or even a different engine. There are two key things that you can inspect or exam to give you a pretty good idea how good the, your old V8 engine is. First off, you're going to open up the valve covers. And that's why I include new valve cover gaskets and new bolt copper ceiling rings for when you reinstall the valve covers back on the engine. When you open up the valve covers, they're going to give you a real good clue on how well the engine has been maintained in terms of oil changes. It's going to let you see whether you get some major problems uh, brewing inside those valve covers. So I've often said that the valve train on these engines are kind of like the Achilles heel. So you need to pull the valve covers immediately my instructions will walk you completely through what you're going to be looking for. There's three or four different things you'll want to look for inside the valve covers. Then you want to inspect the combustion chambers, the cylinder walls, and the pistons and the piston rings. You can't do that visually, but there are some clues. And you do that by removing the spark plugs. So I've got this special a spark plug socket that's included in the kit. And this is the best one I found for getting the spark plugs out of all these older V8s. You're going to have some other supplies to reinstall the spark plugs. When you get the spark plugs out, you'll be able to inspect them. And looking closely at the spark plugs can give you a real good clue on how well the engine's been running, whether or not it's been burning oil, and how well the fuel injection system is working. And then as far as cylinder wall and piston ring wear, you're going to do a compression test. I've said this over and over again, particularly with the diesels. You know, get one of these old cars, you do the compression test right away. That's your best indicator of how healthy the engine is. So I include a good, high-quality compression gauge, a remote starter switch for those of you who want to use one, and then a couple other supplies that go along with the compression tester. This is a syringe that I include, which will allow you to do a wet compression test on a particular cylinder if you should find a weak one when you go through your testing uh, procedure. So that's the full kit as you see here. Remember, this is an examination kit. It's not a repair kit. When you get into your engine, there may be other things you need. Like if you don't know how long it's been since the spark plugs have been changed, you should buy a set of spark plugs with this kit. And I'll include some related product links when you go to my website. You'll also probably want to include some new oiler clips and even new valve chain guides for those V8s that have high mileage because you're going to find some plastic parts that are going to be worn out. And then finally, this kit is going to come with a couple of lengthy video instructions, which will take you through the process of opening up your valve covers, inspecting your valve train, and doing a complete compression test on your own V8 engine. Now let me take you outside, and I'm going to show you an example of how I've used this kit to determine whether an engine in an old 450 SL is worth saving. This is a 1980 450 SL and has the 4.5 liter M117 V8 engine. Now you can see the car was in a bad accident and I've looked this car over, I don't feel it's worth fixing. 
So the question is, should I save this engine? Uh, the good 4.5 engines are getting harder and harder to find, and they're very expensive to overhaul. So I don't want to take the time, though, to pull this engine out and store it somewhere if it's no good. Now, ideally, I know I should get the engine running, and then I could tell more about it. I could check things like smoke and uh, hot idle oil pressure and the other things that go along with being able to hear an engine run. But I'm not going to do that because the exhaust system's torn off and missing, okay? The radiator has three holes in it, so I'd have to get another radiator. The fan's got, the water pump is broken, and the whole delivery fuel system in the back's all shot, you know, with rotten hoses and everything. So the time it would take me to try to get this engine running, just to determine whether or not I want to save the engine is just not worth it for me. I've got way too many other things to do. But if I can determine that the engine's okay by not getting it running, then it's going to be worth pulling it out and putting it aside. Maybe later on I can find a nice 450 SL with a blown engine, which is usually what happens around here. I save an engine, I find a car. So what I did is I said, okay, I'm going to do an internal physical exam of the engine. With it in the car, I've got to get it to turn over with a starter. And I was able to do that. And I used this kit right here and went through the procedure of pulling off the valve covers. And I was very impressed with what I saw inside the valve covers. The timing chain is super tight. It's almost like somebody has replaced this. This car has about 130,000 miles on it and no evidence of sludge, which means it's gotten regular oil changes. Then I went ahead and pulled the plugs out and I inspected the spark plugs. I wasn't too impressed with the brand of the plug in here, but the plugs were burning real clean. That's another good sign. No heavy oil deposits on the spark plug. Probably means this is not an oil burner, all right? So then I said, okay, now I'm going to do a compression test. But the engine had been sitting for five years. Hadn't even turned over since 2016. So doing a compression check with a dry engine wasn't going to give me accurate results. So I went ahead and did a moisturizing treatment. <laughs> I call this moisturizing treatment to an old engine that hasn't run in a very long time. And I filmed the whole thing. So what I'm going to do is include that video as part of this kit, a complete video on how I went through the whole process of prepping this engine for a compression test, then doing a compression test, then doing a wet compression test on one low cylinder, see if I could get it to change. And I used everything in this kit. And guess what? I determined that this engine is worth saving. I'm either going to pull the engine and save it, or I'm going to offer the car to someone who is looking for a good 4.5 engine and maybe a bunch of parts for an R107. So I want to encourage you, if you're getting into these old V8s, whether it be an SL or a W116 or a 126 sedan, I highly recommend that you do an engine physical exam before you start working on the car and fixing other stuff up. You really need to determine the health of the engine because it's the most important thing now with these old Mercedes as replacement engines and parts to rebuild them are getting more and more expensive every year. So if you're interested in this early V8 physical exam kit, be sure and check it out on my website. If you find problems when you take the valve covers off, I have a manual on preventing catastrophic V8 engine failure. This goes through all the process of what to do to change the oiler tubes, check the timing chain, check the timing chain guides, because I'm going to tell you right now, if you lose a timing chain in these engines, you destroy the engine. You cannot believe how many of these I've run across where the timing chain has flew off the sprockets, either because the chain was worn out or one of the guides broke and got jammed in the sprocket. And when that happens, the pistons come up and hit the valves. I've even seen one of these where the camshaft was driven right through the valve cover. Obviously, that happened at speed. So, buyer beware, I say. If you're going to get into these old V8s, remember, do this examination immediately upon acquisition. And if you have one and you haven't done it yet, be sure and do it. The kit will include lengthy video instructions on how to get the valve covers off, inspect everything, how to do a compression test and interpret the results. What are you gonna do if you, 
if you have a low cylinder, what, what should they be? That's all included in those video instructions. And I'm going to make it affordable enough that you don't have an excuse not to do this yourself.